Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. This is another episode of A Kiwi's Tinker Crate. Got my buddy Banjo over here again. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we got a new box in. Same size as most of the other boxes. I think this is pretty much a consistent thing for them for the most part. And as you can see on the front here, it does say spin art. So uh, we got an idea on what this might be and what it's going to kind of um, maybe maybe produce here once we get it uh, get it all built up. Let's go ahead and crack her open and uh, we'll get the parts laid out and go over everything inside. All right, well, there we go. We've got a handful of parts here. Uh, of course, uh, first things first, we do of course have the Tinker Zine here, and uh, that will of course go over uh, the uh, the different uh, things that this is able to do. This one says physics fun, and uh, of course they're talking about how this works and why it does what it does. And uh, you've got some some different other things in here, spinning science, etc., etc. Uh, so it kind of shows you a few different things. There's looks like some uh, some other ideas, some different things you can do in terms of other projects or ideas of things that you can do in terms of science and uh, things of that nature. Uh, now we've got a piece here that looks like it's already got paint splattered all over it. it looks like that's going to be maybe our uh, working base, I think. Uh, well, what's this? Okay, so it looks like it's this is a guide piece. And then you've got uh, the piece back here. I don't, is it? I'm not sure if that's foam. I think it is, but maybe not. It's not, it's not real squishy. So, oh, is that what it is? Oh, oh, I bet you these, this is the paper that you do all your artwork on. Okay, so there you go. It looks like that. That might be the artwork paper there. Um, looks like we've got our disc that we're going to spin everything on. Uh, then we've got some foam stickies, it looks like, and uh, some more guide pieces and whatnot as well as possibly some more paper. I'm not sure. Uh, looks like maybe. Uh, what is this? Oh, we've got lots of little side pieces here. Um, this looks like uh, a lot of the electronics. Looks like we've got a little motor in there. We've got another battery pack and battery. Oh, is that? Oh, breadboard. Oh, okay. Okay, well, it looks like we'll be doing a little bit more circuitry on this one than we usually do. Usually we just plug a couple wires together and that's it. But uh, they actually gave us a breadboard. That's kind of cool. So uh, we'll get, be getting a little more into the electronics kind of thing. And then, uh, what are those, like paint pens? Yep. Okay. Like little daubers or something? Okay. Oh, so just they just drop out the paint on it. Okay. All right. So... So there we go with those things. And then of course we've got our instructions here, our blueprint type instructions. And it shows, as you can see here, it shows kind of a box. And then you've got uh, the circle and the paint splattered on a, uh, on a piece of paper there. So let's go ahead, open this up. We've got, a, of course, some other things here. It shows you a, a live picture there, or a nice picture, and some other things that are in here. But uh, we'll go ahead and open it up. And let's go ahead and get to building. Uh, you guys will be able to watch us kind of speed through it a little bit uh, and uh, you know see what see how we're throwing some stuff together as well as uh, what it looks like once we get things going all right everybody so here we go uh, it's set up for set up the spin here and you can see this section right here it lifts up so that you can put your paper in there. And then if you flip the little switch here, you can see it starts spinning. Now, of course, we weren't perfectly perfectly even in the way that we got it on there, but it still spins all right. Wobbles just a little bit, but you know, that's that's just fine. It's still going to uh, still going to make your spin art work just the same. Uh, now, looking at uh, the extended set of instructions here <clears throat> you could uh, you can see that there are three resistors that are on this and the three resistors here will change the speed at which it spins so you can actually take and move the wiring over you leave one where it's at and you move the move the next one over uh, one line at a time and it will actually slow it down so that it doesn't spin as fast uh, so that way if you want to uh, 
If you want to put the drops on there and have them do something slightly different, experiment a little bit more, you can do that. Uh, let's go ahead and get, get one set up and we can try it out. Oh, it fits in the middle. Yep. Stick down or something. Yeah. Or just sit on the top. Okay, and then you just set that there. Yeah. You want it to spin or you want to spin it? Yeah. Okay. Which one am I going here? Down there. There go. Okay. I don't think you guys can hear this, but as he's putting the the paint in there, we can we can actually hear it spinning off and hitting the sides of the the box. It it kind of sounds like rain. There we go. There's our uh, there's our spin art. So, but there you go. That's uh, that's what it looks like. And you can see inside the box. You can see where the square was. How the paint kind of flew off. And there is a line all around the box, level with the uh, with the plate here. So you see where all the paint goes. Uh, now, of course, we're using the box that it came in, and it has the you can do another one. Um, it has the little punch throughs where you fold the box down, and if you if you notice, uh, there are some tape pieces that go underneath to keep it from uh, from spilling out the bottom. So. So there we go. We've got a couple little. Uh, little projects there and of course um, you don't have to use just these paint pens or these paints uh, here you can of course get your own colors and add to it uh, you know even get some maybe you can get some fancy ones uh, maybe ones with glitter in them or something like that if you wanted or whatever get some get some different colors though uh, instead of just these four so that you've got some uh, some new effects and everything maybe get some uh, some silver and gold colors or or whatever and you can uh, of course make your own little designs all right guys well uh banjo's having a good old time here making his own art and everything and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up this of course was the uh was uh, another episode here from uh, Kiwi's Tinker Crate, and this is the uh, spin art machine, and <laughs> all four of them at once, huh? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, if you guys want to check this out, go ahead and hit the description down below, and uh, you can get the link to uh, the Tinker Crate, which is all uh, designed for uh, STEM-based projects and everything. And, uh, you know, so you can do this along with all of the other projects that are in the Tinker Crate. You can, uh, you know, get a monthly subscription or you can buy them box at a time. Also, uh, while you're down there, don't forget to hit our social media outlets. Uh, we've got lots of them down there. And on your way down there, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And uh, hit that subscribe button. There'll be one floating right around down here in the corner. Or hit the one down at the bottom there. And uh, don't forget to hit that bell icon to uh, let yourself be notified of any new episodes that we have out. I guess uh, that's going to do it for us today. I, I think Banshee is going to... He's just going to keep on going with this for a little while. He's having some fun with this paint. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. You guys have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye.